What's up guys? It's Roger from Umbro Gaming with a new NBA 2K16 card video and today I'm going to be showing you some card designs for each of the top 25 players in the NBA according to ESPN and I'm also going to give you guys my opinion on what I think about their rankings and stuff but let's go ahead and get this video started. Ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem till niggas is ballin' and bitches they all wanna stick. I lick it split in the whip with my niggas, my family, my click. We are going to start this video at, of course, number 25. They rank Scottie Pippen 25. And I mean, he's done some great things. He's in the top 50, three all star uh, first team. He's got eight all, uh, all NBA defensive first team. He's got seven all star games. And I mean, I honestly think Pippen might have uh, been ahead of some of the people, some of the people that are earlier in this list. But I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't 100% agree with ESPN's ranking on everybody, but I mean, let's go ahead and continue. Next up, we got Elgin Baylor, and this man, honestly, I think he deserves to be higher than what he is. 14 years, he was with the Lakers, he's in the top 50, 10 All-NBA First Team, he was the Rookie of the Year, 11 All-Star games that he played in. And I mean, honestly, if you look at Elgin Baylor's stats, this man was crazy, scoring like 35, 30, 30 plus points per game in like multiple seasons and stuff like that. And I think he did a good job for the Lakers. I think he should be higher. What do you guys think? Comment that down below. Next up, Stephen Curry. And I mean, Stephen Curry's only been in the league for six years and they already have him ranked number 23. I, I think Pippen and Elgin Baylor should already be ahead of uh, Steph Curry. He's only got one ring. He's only got three All-Star games, uh, one All-NBA first team, uh, one MVP. I mean, the MVP is worth a lot, though, compared to the other guys. But, I mean, he should be in the top 50. But 23, he should be in the top, maybe, a, maybe in the top 30, top 35. But, I mean, 23 is a little too much. Next up, Kevin Durant. Eight years in the league so far, one MVP, five All-NBA first team. He was the Rookie of the Year, seven All-Star games so far. And, uh, I mean, Kevin Durant's done so much. He's gone to the finals. He's gone to the championship. He didn't win, though, but, I mean, he's. I definitely do see Kevin Durant winning a ring, or at least one ring before his career is over. Um, so they ranked him at number 22, and uh, that's a... It's a high rank, but I mean, Kevin Durant has done a lot, so it's okay. I don't mind too much. Next up, we got Kevin Garnett, number 21, 20 years in the league. He's still in the league, probably his last year. Um, a lot of people don't really, I guess they don't really give him that much attention anymore, but I mean, it's going to be his last year. We got to give him some some credit. He also had one, one MVP, four All-NBA first teams. He was Defensive Player of the Year nine odd uh, NBA defensive first teams and uh, 15 all-star games Kevin Durant has done a lot and I, he definitely deserves to be in the top 25 so and this is the one of the cards that was made for him looking like a beast next up David Robinson with the San Antonio Spurs 14 years of service top 50 MVP four all NBA first teams defensive player of the year four all NBA defensive first teams rookie of the year and 10 all-star games this man did a lot and he won some rings with the spurs as well so definitely a very important player he changed the game in his era uh, he did he did a good job showed up he played he had good skills so he's gonna be number 20 and next up we've got a point guard john stockton the assist leader 19 years of service nba top 50 two all nba first teams and 10 all-star games john stockton he's a beast man one of the best passers in the league he he obviously shows that by hold, still holding most assists uh, ever and he's first in the most assists in a career so john stockton a beast right there and um i did not make these cards they were made by uh somebody uh his link will be in the description so the rankings uh like the overalls on these players i would have i would have ranked them a little bit higher just so you guys know i did not make these cards um, but I did make up this whole setup like with the players, uh, their status, their uh, awards and achievements and stuff. Uh, but the cards, I personally did not make them. I would have ranked them higher. Here we have Charles Barkley. Uh, he's, he's got an MVP, five All-NBA First Teams, and 11 All-Star appearances. 
Charles Barkley, again, another great power forward. He did a good job, played with multiple teams. And, I mean, he's a good player. He's a good player. He got a good ranking on this list. Next up, number 17, we got Dirk Nowitzki. And uh, he's a beast, guys. He's just an overall beast. Uh, let's see. He got one MVP, one finals MVP, four all-NBA first teams, and 13 all-star appearances. Dirk, honestly, that fadeaway is his signature move, what everybody knows him for, and uh, he definitely deserves to be on this list. He won that one championship against the Miami Heat, and uh, he did a good job. He's done a good job with the with the Mavericks. Definitely deserves to be uh, number 17 on this list. Next up, we got Carl Malone, number 16, 19 years of service, and uh, he's got two MVPs. 11 All-NBA First Teams, 3 All-NBA Defensive First Teams, and 14 All-Star Appearances. Karl Malone, honestly, he should be a diamond as well. 96 overall. 95 still not that bad. It's a pretty good rating. Uh, but in the comments down below, do you guys think 2K should uh, try to do cards for most of these players? I know some of them they can't, like Charles Barkley. But they can do a lot of these players. I feel like this would be a great collection. Next up, we've got Moses Malone, 19 years of service. Um, he was in the NBA's top 50. This is when they ranked it earlier. Earlier, uh, not the new 100 that ESPN's doing every year now. And he's got three MVPs, finals MVP, four all NBA first teams, all NBA defensive uh, first team, and 12 all star appearances. But like I was saying, Oh yeah, and he, I, I mean, sadly, he did pass away, so I just want to go ahead and say rest in peace to Moses Malone. Uh, gr a great job being in the league, and you did a great job playing. Definitely deserve that rank. Next up, we got 14. Number 14. 76ers Julius Irving. 14 years in the league. He was in the top 50 MVP. He got... 50 on 50 what no he got five all nba first teams and 11 all-star appearances and uh, dr j is a beast man dunking shooting everything he's just a good overall player and definitely deserves to be number 14 on this list and this julius irving is the first diamond on the list uh, like i said some other players should be uh, rated higher but he was the first diamond on these cards that were made now we got jerry west uh, the the logo himself, man. Jerry West. You guys know me. I'm a huge Lakers fan. So Jerry West, Finals MVP, ten All NBA First Teams, four All NBA Defensive Team uh, First Team, and 14 All Star appearances. That's 14 All Star appearances in his 14 years of service. This man is crazy. He's currently an executive board member for the Golden State Warriors. That's why the Golden State logo is right there. Uh, but Jerry West, man. I'm a huge Jerry West fan. Of course, one of the one of the not the best leagues, uh, not the best point guards the Lakers have ever had, because we got Magic Johnson. But Jerry West did a good job as well. Number twelve, Kobe Bean Bryant, my favorite player, retiring this year. So that 19 years of service should be switching over to 20 years of service after this season. He got that MVP, two Finals MVP, uh, 11 All NBA first teams, nine All NBA defensive first teams, and 18. All-Star Games, make that 19 with this year. Kobe Bean Bryant is a GOAT, man. He's the beast. I honestly think he should be rated so much higher than number 12, but that's just me. Comment down below what you guys think. Next up, we've got the big O, Oscar Robertson, Mr. Triple Double himself, and he's got 14 years of service. He was ranked in the top 50 before. He got the MVP nine all nba first teams rookie of the year and he has 12 all-star appearances and he also did play with kareem i just want to throw that out there because kareem's a laker you guys know how i am but oscar robertson number 11 on this list and he does deserve to be ranked pretty high mr triple double as i like to call him sometimes next up we got hakeem olajuwon number 10 all time 20 years of service top 50 he got an mvp two finals mvps six all nba first teams two defensive players of the year five all nba defensive first teams and 12 all-star appearances hakeem olajuwon very dominant center number 34 of course with the rockets he did so much for them and he he does deserve to be number 10 on this list like he was doing big things, so yeah, he does deserve that number 10 spot. Next up, number 9 all-time, according to ESPN, 
Shaquille O'Neal, Los Angeles Laker, top 50. He got an MVP, three finals MVPs, eight all-star, I mean not all-star, eight all-NBA first teams, one rookie of the year. Of course, you can only win that once. And 15 all-star appearances, man. Shaquille O'Neal is a beast. And he won. He did that. He did that three peat with the Lakers. He won. A, he won another ring with uh, with Miami Heat later on, and D Wade. So I mean, Shaquille O'Neal did a good job. Deserves that number nine spot. Now, the best power forward of all time as of now, Tim Duncan. The number eight spot, two MVPs, three Finals MVPs, ten All NBA first teams, eight All NBA defensive first teams. Rookie of the Year and 15 All-Star appearances. Another man that is more than likely going to retire this season, guys. Tim Duncan's had a long career, and I feel like he's not even playing as that much right now because he is older, and honestly, I think he's the best power forward ever. It's probably going to be his time after this season. We got to go ahead and respect Tim Duncan for that, man. Next up, number seven all-time, Bill Russell. 11 championships. He's got the top 50 uh, for the NBA before, five MVPs, three All-NBA first teams, and then he's got the All-NBA defensive first team, 12 All-Star appearances. So 12 out of his 13 years, he was in the All-Star game. Bill Russell won 11 championships in the 13 years that he was in the league. That is crazy if you ask me. Giving him the number seven spot on this list, he should be rated a little bit higher. But next up, we got the Celtics, Larry Bird, number six all time, 13 years in the league, top 50 in the NBA. He got three MVPs, two finals MVPs, nine all NBA first teams, rookie of the year, and 12 all star appearances. Another 12 and 13 for all star appearances. Larry Bird, man, he's known as Larry Legend, and uh, he did a good job for the Boston Celtics, winning them some championships, being an MVP, uh, le pretty much leading the squad, man. Larry Bird definitely <laughs> deserves to be in this top uh, top 10 list. Next up, we got Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain, number five all time, 14 years in the league, four MVPs. He's got a Finals MVP, seven All NBA First Team. Then he got two All NBA Defensive First Team, Rookie of the Year, and 13 appearances. He only did it. He only wasn't in the All Star game one time in, that, in his entire NBA career. So I mean, Will Chamberlain is a great player. Obviously, the 100 point game. He deserves to be number five on this list. He also did pass away, so rest in peace, Will Chamberlain. Next up, we got Magic Johnson. Uh, the best point guard ever if you guys ask me if you guys disagree let me know who you guys think the best point guard ever is but i think it's magic johnson 14 years in the league he was in the top 50 three mvps three finals mvps nine all nba first teams and 12 all-star appearances he also did win uh all-star game mvp i think he won one of them and then i mean Honestly, one of the best point guards. He is the best point guard of all time. Not one of them. The best point guard of all time, in my opinion. Next up, we got LeBron James at the number three spot. I honestly think Kobe Bryant should be ahead of LeBron James. That's just me. Might be a little bit biased. But LeBron James, number three on this ESPN top 25 list. 12 years in the league so far. Four MVPs. Two finals MVPs. Nine All-NBA first teams. Five All-NBA defensive first teams. Rookie of the year and 12 all-star appearances so in his 12 years in the league he's got 12 all-star appearances i think it's 13 years now but yeah man king james honestly he will be it, I, I know i don't think he should be number three but he will be the number three uh eventually maybe even past that when his career is over now we are down to the last two players on this all-time top 25 nba list number two we got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and this man, he was with the Bucks for a while, later on, later went on to go with the Los Angeles Lakers, six MVPs, two finals MVPs, 10 All-NBA first teams, five All-NBA defensive first teams, rookie of the year, and 19 All-Star appearances. This man was in the league for 21 years, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar definitely deserves the number two spot on this list. Next up. We have Michael Jordan at the number one spot of the all-time NBA list. Of course, Michael Jordan, number one. He's 
in the top 50 list, of course, you got the number one spot. Five MVPs, six finals MVPs, 10 all NBA first teams, defensive player of the year, nine all NBA defensive first teams, rookie of the year. And in his 15 years, he was in the all-star game for 14 of them. Michael Jordan, he's the greatest player of all time, and that's fine with me. I can agree with that. Michael Jordan definitely deserves the number one spot. But that is it for this video, guys. I know it's a long video, uh, longer than the most videos that I make, but I really do want to talk about all this. I want to know what you guys' opinions are on the rankings for each and every single one of these players. Comment down below who should be higher, who should be lower, who should be in this top 25 that isn't in the list. Let me know that in the comments down below. I really am very curious, but that's going to be it for today. Everyone take care. Have a great day. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. And you guys take care now. What's up, guys? It's Roger from Umbro Gaming with a new NBA 2K16 card video. And today, we've got some packs to open. And uh, I'm probably going to separate this into two videos. That way, uh, you guys can see which ones you wanted to see. I went ahead and asked the question on Twitter, which box you got, which box you guys wanted me to open. 